What up? Coming to you live from 844 Imports. So as of today, I'm really just on a spontaneous road trip with the homie David. He's buying a bike from Toshi Imports out in DC. And you already know, if I'm going to DC, I gotta stop by 844 Imports. And one of the main reasons we have to stop here is for the Suzuki Wide. So you guys remember I made a video on this a couple weeks ago and since then he swapped over the clutch, put these rims on that look amazing. And you already know, we gotta drive this. We gotta see how it feels. This one is a one liter turbo. So it's not a K car, but I drove it just down the block and this thing rips. So I can only imagine what it feels like with the new clutch. Here's how the back looks. Suzuki wide. I'll pop the hood and show you guys that 1000 CC turbo. It's crazy how similar this is to the Alto. I could put the same intake there, put in mine. Probably run the same blow off valve. You can see it's right there. About the same size intercooler. This is a K10A instead of K6. I'm sure six, now that I'm thinking about it, means 660. And 10 must mean one liter. We learned something new today, but yeah. Enough talking, I have to drive this. I guess I'll show you guys the Jimny too. This thing is another really sick car. Suzuki wide, we got two wides. We got the Atlas, you guys remember this. I remember a lot of people saying that they loved it. Since I've been here last, murdered out the tints, added these wheels, which look nice. Out with the olds. New wheels on this too, new wheels on that. Nice and clean, he's been driving it. This guy's five speed. I did a double dent in here too, damn. Okay, I see you, Josh. Loki, he's kind of becoming me, buying imports, but then making them better, which I love to see. You know, adding rims on this one, adding tents before selling it. I'm sure he's gonna do a tune-up. This one got rims, same for that one. But all right, enough talking. Let's grab my other camera and let's drive this thing. Let's see what this wagon R is all about. Does this one also have the basket? Oh, it does have the basket. It's even bigger too. If you have a wagon R, you know about the basket. It's even bigger, that's hilarious. All right, so let's see what this is about. I am very excited to see what this is like. <sighs> All right, I'm on a residential block. Let me relax. I just feel like this has been what I've been looking for for the longest as far as the perfect road trip car. A car that is K car size. Like, you know, I can still touch the window. It isn't that much bigger than a K car. But one liter turbo still makes all the fun sounds. I think it's front wheel drive. I don't think it's all wheel drive, but that really doesn't make a difference. Um, but I'm really excited to get this on the main road. So I'm going to make a left. Let's see what it's like when I actually pump it. I love that you can hear the turbo. Hopefully you can hear it in the video. Like, let me like that sound right there. It has a little, little blow up valve too. And since I already worked on the auto, getting something like this and just transferring the parts or buying the parts over would not be too difficult. So let's make this left. I'm gonna gun it actually right away. Let's see what it's like. So I'm in fourth gear right now. I'm in 2,000 on the RPMs. Let me drop down to third. But even third is only 3,000. I'm not gonna go to second, that's too low. But look, I know you hear that. It picks up, but I guess, I don't know. I feel like it just, it needs a little something. Talk about needing a little something like the Alto. Like it's, it's making all the right sounds. I'm very, very low on the RPMs. 
But I feel like maybe because the K cards are so light, like it was really throwing me back. And this one didn't really throw me back. I still felt like I had more in it. Obviously, it's not my car, so I'm not going to grab it all the way to like 7 and 8. But let's go back. I'm going to do a U-turn. One more pull. Let me rev it out. Okay, okay. I guess because I was treating it like a kick card. Did you guys hear that? Let me downshift. Oh my god. Listen to this. pull over I need to do another 360 way this thing looks let me open the glove box wow he has a title for it too wow like listen to this <laughs> I think the cappuccino is one of the best sounding cars but that has a lot of work to it from my understanding this is just a stock Suzuki wagon R Y there's not much to it imagine this with an exhaust an intake a blow valve. I got some room in front of me again. You ready to listen to this? I really hope the camera's picking it up. You ready? It's got fog lights. Has a little dent here, but my homies by City Field can fix that. Love the wheels. Maybe get the whole car repainted. spoiler put way for the fame right there where the silver is seats four comfortably at that because it's not a k car still got a lot of space back there power windows all around hold on guys hold your horses i also would like to add that it's still not like real car fast it doesn't have 200 horsepower but if K cars have 60, I would say this one has maybe close to like 100 because you can still rev it out completely. And I don't think I'm going well over the speed limit, but I finally have some space. So let me open this up and I need you guys to listen to this. Listen to this poetry right now. Like, you know, that's a quick third gear pull. I'm only going 80 kilometers an hour. That's still under the speed limit. I'm not going 60, but that sound? And that's in the stock form? Imagine with an intake, because adding an intake and blow valve completely transform the driving experience of the auto. So imagine this. I don't know what to do. Cappuccino's for sale. Auto waffles happening or for sale, I guess, too. Uh, maybe I gotta sell some more things. Maybe I gotta do some other stuff. Subscribe to the Patreon, support the channel so I can buy fun stuff like this. But wow, wow, that first pull I was expecting to be thrown back, like similar to the, even the auto kind of throws you back. This one I don't really feel like it's throwing me back so much, but it's still quick enough, and you can tell the motor isn't even trying. Like right now, I'm in third gear at 2000 of the RPM going 65 kilometers, and then if I downshift. Yeah, it throws me back, I guess, but it isn't like a K car. I don't know how to explain it, but it's sick though. It's sick. I really do like this a lot. 
I really like this a lot. I, I I knew that I was going to like it, and I was like, yo, we gotta stop by A4 for imports. Like, he just finished swapping out the clutch. But I didn't know that I would like it that much. Like, just imagine that with an intake. This sound right here, imagine this with an intake. And a blow valve, with just an intake. Because it kind of already has a little, little bypass valve. I just told Josh that I trade my cappuccino for this. That's how much I like it. And I know the comments are gonna say, you're crazy, why would you trade the cappuccino for this? Obviously, he would have to add cash. Let's be realistic. But as a content creator, things like that, things like little scuffs right there. All that equals is me wrapping this myself, putting some LEDs, fixing the fogs, fixing the hood, painting that black. Driving this on a very far road trip. I don't know. I'm going to end this video here, but I wouldn't say this is the last time we see the Suzuki Wagon RY. Let's just say that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Shout out to A44 Imports. We're going to head back on the road. Stay tuned for the other videos. We might be going to Virginia Autumn Mall again. Test driving some campers. Looking at that beat again. But thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Remember the name. This is for the fame.